Hey guys, this is TCA Gaming. I know normally we show a lot of Pokemon content on here. I do some Yu-Gi-Oh, some Magic, and uh, lately I've been doing a little bit more MetaZoo. It's been fun. Uh, I'm going to tell you more about this booster box and why I'm opening up this particular one, because there is a reason. And for all of you who are asking about the MetaZoo Kickstarter auction, it hasn't technically started yet. It's going to start this Sunday, um, unless the consignee changes something and then it'll be a little bit earlier. But it should start this Sunday and end the following Sunday, so it'll be seven days. Start off at a penny, no reserve, whatever it goes for is what it goes for. All right, so in this uh, video, we're actually going to open up some uh, the newest release, which is Nightfall. This is like the second set that's come out, first edition, everything. Um, we've got blister packs, we've got booster boxes. I did buy these through, through a distributor. This is the first uh, distributor release for this product, so it did come out a little bit later. Um, than uh, I believe was intended. It was, the release was supposed to be the 22nd. And today is what, maybe the 4th when you guys are seeing this video? And I'm, I'm recording it on the 3rd. I just got it yesterday. And I uh, put the booster boxes up for sale. And they sold out within 24 hours. I put 100 of them up for sale. And if you were a Patreon, or Patreon, Patron on if you remember on Patreon or Charles, I remember you got an early access link, but it didn't really matter. It, it didn't sell out, you know, right away. But I know a lot of you have been asking about that. Uh, in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys some of the promos. This is the Jersey Devil. This comes in all the blister packs, so you get uh, one of, I guess, each of them. I can't tell if there's any difference between the different artworks on the booster packs, but what's cool is you can't actually see the different colors, so you know uh, this is a different artwork from that one all the way through. So I'm going to open up one of these, and then we're going to open up some of the, the packs from the booster box. And I'm going to start on my binder set. So let's see how this works out. Oh yeah, that's a lot. A lot of times when you push in right there, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't want to come off. So I like that. Okay, so there's your little coin. I'm not sure what you do with these. I heard you can redeem them from, for something, but I haven't actually looked into it myself. The promo is sealed, which is nice. You can still see, you know, it's got some whitening up there on the top, so this one isn't like, you know, one you'd want to send off to a PSA. But I've definitely heard of the Jersey Devil. All right, it'll, it'll be my, this will be my official first pack that I'm opening. I'll tell you about that pack here in a minute. So that's some like thick uh, packaging there. All right, so I believe the way it works is kind of like the common equivalent is this. Anytime you see this like little brown symbol up there, so we got air rods, wonk, <laughs> got static wand, Kinder hook blob. All right, okay, so I think this is like the uncommon, similar to uh, magic. Got boost aura, headless run, got witch's lightning. We got a Spectre Moose. There we go. And I think this is like a, a normal hollow. The hollow pattern is kind of different. And then we have an Adam Ackler. So I guess gold is kind of like rare. I'm not really sure on that. Nameless Token, Winter, and then got a Cosmic Aura. So I wonder if this is like an, considered like an uncommon hollow. I might have to look into that. I'm not completely sure on And now, the reason I'm opening up this particular booster box is when I got it in, it was actually just like this. Uh, well, the packs were, the cards were inside of this pack, but I opened up the case. There was one box without shrink wrap, and it was this one. And then, uh, the, well, the case was open, and then the box was open, and then this pack was open, but all the cards are inside. And of course, you know, I, I sent the pictures immediately to MetaZoo Games on IG. And they're like, oh yeah, man, I've heard of that happening. You know, apparently it's a, you know, sometimes that happens. I'm like a warehouse worker will do that. Um, but here, send a picture of this or send a screenshot of this to, to this place and we'll send you an entire free box, you know, to replace it. And I thought, and the reason I'm mentioning that is because you would never get that kind of treatment from um, any of the, you know, the big games that are out there. And that's why I think Metazoo kind of sticks out right now. They're, um, they're really engaged with the hobby and I think they care. Mike definitely cares, and um, I thought it was really cool. And I told him I didn't even want a, another box. It didn't look like anything was taken out of it. You know, I figured I'd just open it up for a video. I was going to open up one anyways. And uh, but the fact that he responded he, within 30 seconds, which is crazy, dude. Like, no offense. Like, I love the fact that you responded fast to me. But man, if you get a life and you step away from IG, you're not gonna. Everybody's gonna understand. Like, you don't have to respond that that crazy fast. Like, it was insane how fast he responded. 
But anyways, let's move on in here and we'll start going through some of these packs. So we got a Thunderbird in this one. This is the one that um, was uh, stuffed back into the cards like upside down, backwards. Looks kind of like goldish. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll figure out this rare, these rarities again. All right, so let's put that there. I think these are hollows, right? Because reverse hollows on the outside. I want to say that, or maybe there's reverse. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's in this set, but you know, like the original set, it was you know the Mothman. Okay, we got another Air Rods. What is that? Luffer Lang Excavation Static One. Oh, nice Jack O' Lantern Bomb. I'd like to get that one in a reverse hollow. Simultaneous Dover Demon. Oh, we got a Grafton Monster. That's pretty cool. Let's put that one there. So we have one stack for. Oh, maybe those are the reverse and that's the regular hollow. Born from the Earth. Spider Token. Ooh, Swamp. That's pretty cool. That's some good artwork. Light Aura. And I would think that these are the hollows because it's a rare, you know. Well, they're, well I know they're both rares. But that one's an uncommon. So normally, if you have commons and uncommons, those are with the reverse holo. I don't have a holo related to it. But I really don't know. Axe Handle Hound, Garbage Town Tunnel Monster. Okay. There's another Jack o' Lantern Imprisonment Index. Spooky Kite. Cool. Vampire Mercy Brown. Wood Devil of Coos Country. Okay. Cool. Put that one there. Prism Beam, Nameless Token, Forest, and another Light Aura. I like that. Look at that. That's the one I want in the hollow. Well, I'm sure there's other ones that I want too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nightmare, Imprisonment, Excavation. See some of these. Holy Eyes, Veggie Man, Jack Frost. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know he was going to be in MetaZoo. Are they going to stick Santa Claus in here? <laughs> Man, that would be cool. Alright, put that one there. Dark Watchers, Tentacle Token, Suburban, Frost Aura. Alright. Absorb Aura, Cosmic Warp. Taihihan? Not sure what that is. Possession, brain in a jar, <laughs> crystallized light, zombie apocalypse. Okay, we got a Dover demon. There we go. Abduction, nameless token, dark painting, and a flame aura. Look, we got another air rods. That's the third one sitting on the front. Crazy critter of Bald Mountain. Tribal Warcry. I wish I knew like all of the backgrounds of these things. Oh, you can barely see that one. Dark Watchers. It's kind of cool. Kind of like fades in. Adam Ackler. I wonder if there'll be uh, some releases of these that have like hollow bleeds. That'd be kind of cool. Seems like most of the front cards have a little bit of edge around that top left corner. I wonder if that's just me the way I'm opening it. Hope Diamond. Uh -oh, I wonder if that's going to be any good. It's like the re I guess that's the reverse there. I'll have to look up see which cards are most sought after, but stick Diamond in there. Maybe people like that kind of thing. Yeah, it looks like most of the first cards I'm getting have some kind of just like a little bit of white edge wear right there. An upside down cross. Come on now, that's definitely unholy. All right, Grim Reaper. I remember I, this is the one that I pulled out of uh, that sample pack that we opened up. So I wonder if he, he was pretty good in that one from what I was told. So I wonder if he's a pretty good pull in this one. I would think so. I mean, it's the Grim Reaper. Okay. But again, that's a reverse haul, I guess. Oh, we got a Mothman. Yeah, it's not the hollow version, but, you know, he's like the Charizard of MetaZoo, right? So, it's got to be a good one. Nameless Token, Nightnime, Lightning, Aura. 
see how many of those Mothmans we pull. Here, we'll sit that one off to the side. Bam. There's that hound again. Iceberg. Huh. Veggie Man, Headless Nun, Prism Beam, Tentacle Token, Foreman, that's cool. What if they're going to have like uh, all the tokens? Dark Lightning Orb, Garbage Town Monster, Halloween Ghost Sheet, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Zombie Apocalypse again. There's another Grafton monster. Put that one there. Did we get that one? Yeah, we got that one in the regular hollow too. Mobo. Ooh, that's really cool. See, wouldn't that be cool in a hollow? It's got the Nautilus up there. So, so far we've got three hollows. Just pull some of these packs out. So, for those of you who are wondering, my father in law has officially moved in. We've got him. He's actually uh, back over at his house just for right now. He's trying to pick up a few things. Familiar boogeyman. Nice. It's only an uncommon. Robert of the Ghoul. Ooh, Lightning Alley. Very cool. Put that one there. Oh, we got a, we got a Grim Reaper. So that's a non hollow. I'm going to put that one out too. I like the Grim Reaper and Mothman. He's over here picking up a few things. He liked his room. It's pretty small, but you know what? He's, uh, I think he's understanding knowing that he, he needs to live here. There's our first air rods hanging you know, at the front of the pack. View fall it. There's a jack o' lantern bomb. Fingers crossed we'll get one of those in a, in a reverse hollow. There's a bell witch. Put that one in the hollow slot. Frank Charles Gargoyle. So I think, I guess the way it works is you got your uncommons, then you have a, a reverse hollow or a hollow, and then you have a rare after that, and then you've got, you know, there's tokens, and you got, you know, one of these, like a forest or ocean or something like that. There's that hound again, water to wine, bringing Jesus in here. Headless Nun, Unlucky Potion, a Lightning Split. All right, man. A gate, Suburban. Yeah, Suburban. I like these cards. They just look, I mean, I think it's, I, I like the artwork um, play on this. It, it's something different. I know this Metazoo you know, kind of pulls different mechanics in different games, but I like the way that, like these packs, I mean, they just got that nice, crispy sound and feel to them when you open them up. And then you've got the, just the card stock feels different itself, but then I like the, uh, the colors, the artists. Ingrid Gold, Ingrid Gold. Some of these you can't even tell they're hollow. Zombie Token. So if I understand it correctly, you know, on average your seed is one and three for a hollow but because it's randomized you could actually get you know way more or less wood devil of coos country so we got that one in both the hollow and the reverse right oh no that's just a double that's a double of that hollow so i guess you could pull multiple maybe we can get some mothman and grim reaper reverse hollows Yeah, I haven't thought about selling singles for Mezu, but you know, if I get doubles, maybe it's something I can look at. Familiar, Holy Eyes, Dover Demon, Boil Over. That's another hollow. Yep. Flood the Earth. Now we're bringing Noah into it. <laughs> Beast of Bladenborough. Bladenborough. I feel like I've heard of that one. Wonk. If you follow it, tribe, tribe. Next to another lightning alley. 
Is that the second one of those we pulled? I believe it is. So we've got two doubles there. Hope Diamond. I like that one. I'm putting the cards back here that in my uh, imagination I'm thinking, like, man, that's just really cool artwork. I like that. I'm thinking they might be worth something. <clears throat> but I really don't know. Absorb Aura, Lightning, or Light Elemental, Poultry Guys, Bloodlust, Dispel Evil. Oh, another Jack Frost. Very cool. I think he'll probably do alright too. I mean, it's Jack Frost. Lightning Aura. I need to get another stack over here. We are probably over halfway through the box. There's another Air Rods right in the front. We've got a Water Baby. Some mud. Born from the earth. Huh. Pretty cool. Shadow token. Star. I wonder how many of these there are. I have fun making my binder set with this. Water to wine, frostbite, another boil over. Is that three? I think that's three of those, right? No, that's two. It's three doubles that we've hit. Proton seller, nameless token. There's the bourbon again. We get the rest of the packs out of here. So the size of this box is just a little bit bigger than uh, the Pokemon box. It's made not much, but just a little bit more difficult to ship because normally I can do. A padded flat rate with Pokemon boxes. I just put them inside of a six by five by three box. Inside, well, I put it inside of like a poly bag inside of a box, and then put the box, tape it up, and put that inside of the padded mailer. I know a lot of people will just stick them straight in the padded mailer, which they used to annoy the crap out of me because they'd always show up damaged. Oklahoma octopus, very cool. Bam, lightning alley. Maybe I got it wrong with the reverse hollow and the hollow thing, so that, that stack is starting to pile up now. <laughs> like, wait a minute. But I would think so, because all the ones over here have been rares. Static Wand, Headless Nun, Old Books Crying Tree. Okay. <laughs> Looks like he's uh, crying tears of blood there. And you get that pumpkin in reverse. This seems like this hound and that uh that other thing. The air bods or whatever it was. This seemed to be the top one on the front. That'd be a cool hollow card too right there. Banished copy cup, zombie apocalypse, the werewolf of defiance. Stalactites. Yeah, stalact. I don't think this how you spell stalactites. So I think it's stalactites. Maybe it, maybe it is that I'm just, uh, uh, I've never spelled that word before because I've never written it. Come on, Mezu. Spooky Kite, the Red Ghost. Potion Cellar, Stained Glass Token, nice. Beast of Blattenboro, Ludwig, Jack O' Lantern. Seen a few of those. Oh, the Red Ghost back to back. Uh, wow, look at that. <laughs> In two packs, we get two Reverse Hollow, the Red Ghost, and a Rare, the Red Ghost. Man, we keep hitting more of these. I wonder how many of them things there are. Man, I don't know how people open these packs up with the camera between you all day long. Puts a little strain on my shoulders. I can open up regular packs all day long, but not with that. Oh, another Wolf of Defiance. So that was, yeah, so four packs in a row we get two of those and two of them. Prism Beam, tenta Tentacle Token, okay. Earth Aura.
Lufer Fang. There's that position. Permafrost. Nice. Indrid Cold. Here's a guy. I guess I could have looked at the stuff that was on the front and maybe those would have been the cards you go for. Amy Cook. I was going by, there's a guy up the street who uh, has like 12 of the same truck and he always has like Bigfoot or something out in his yard. Adam Ackler. That's a guy from something else that, uh, that we saw already. Obsidian Obelisk. But uh, he has like a Chupacabra sitting out in his yard. <laughs> It looks it looks pretty real, and it's like coming across the the yard, all hunched. Thought of Santa for a second. Ooh, there's the Hope Diamond. So we got the regular, the reverse, and we also got the hollow. That'll make for fun in the the binder. Bloody Bones. Lightning Split. So that, yeah, that's the one with that guy, Adam Ackler. And we got two of those. Alaskan Vortex. So I guess we can get a Mothman in the hollow slot as well. So maybe we'll get a reverse hollow and a hollow. Or we'll, maybe we'll get a double of the Hope Diamond. That'd be cool too. There's the Air Bods again. Jack O' Lantern. Lightning Alley. I think that's three of those we pulled. Ooh, that looks cool, Lightning Storm. Land Tax, Bloodlust. And I think that's the third Wood wood Devil of Coos Country as well. So we've hit a lot of doubles, even a few uh, triples in this one. What was that Divine Covenant? Destroy. Oh wow. So I think that's wait, this is the reverse hollow. <laughs> so we've hit three regular. And then there's that lightning alley again. We've hit a couple of those non hollow. That's pretty cool. What the full moon. So we've got three packs left to hit the hollow north man. Can we do it? Blessed. Wonk. Gonna reverse hollow wonk. Two packs to go. Excavation. Bell Witch. Hey, that's on one of the covers. So maybe that's something good. Permafrost. Last pack. Here we go. What shall we get? Took the three off the back. I think it's just three. It might be four. Yeah, I think it's four. Well, oh, another wood devil. <laughs> Absorb or uh oh, I got a boogeyman. Nice. It's reverse hollow, but still really cool. Alright guys, let me know what you think about the, the new set. Um uh, I really don't know what the most expensive card is, but tell me what your favorite one was, and then uh maybe we'll open up some more nightfall if it gets good reception. If not, we'll wait to the next set. Or the next product that we get. I hear they got some really cool stuff coming down the pipe. And um, I hope you enjoy. Thanks.